Kat from dollyrage.ie back here again and today I thought I would film a what's in my bag because as far as I'm aware every single vlogger and blogger on the planet has done one of these and I haven't so let's do it so here's my bag it is a mulberry Alexa in grape and I was very lucky to get this bag as a Christmas present from my family and my partner's family and my partner uh, yeah beautiful <laughs> I love it oh my baby so let's see what's in there and she's open I see that there's loads of room in there just to put all your things let's empty them out ah! chaos I'm going to pose you a challenge. How many lip products do you reckon I have in my bag? Think of a number, make a guess. We'll see if you're right. So, the contents of my bag are all spilled out in front of me. <laughs> Let's go through them. Um, of course, I have my purse, which isn't anything fancy, it's just a Dunn's purse which is actually is quite nice for a sort of a, a Dunn's purse Um, I am very fussy about purses I haven't actually managed to find any that I've liked and I've been looking for like the past two years so yeah if you know of any pretty purses around let me know I'm on the hunt for a new one but this one serves perfectly anyway for now it's just a zip around one it has cards it has money spaces oh everything's falling out ah oh. yeah you know what a purse looks like let's move on quickly before i cause any more chaos tesco voucher where i bought coffee and cereal which is all you need in life really coffee and cereal yeah i have a salmon quality chemist receipt where i bought benefit gimme brow and L'Oreal True Match Foundation because I want to find out if it's worth the hype. This is a gas bill and on the back I have written some directions to somewhere I needed to go and it has lived in my bag so long that this gas bill is probably out of date and needs to be paid. So probably should do that. Yeah. I'm sure that most of you are mostly interested in the makeup that I carry around with me because let's face it, this is a beauty channel. Um, I have this makeup bag which is a bag that I got with a Ren skincare set and it's perfect, you know, it's a good size, it can hold big things, small things, all the things. And inside, ugh, I organise all my beauty and sort of personal care stuff. Um, so there is Beano to go. If you have IBS, you'll know why I have these. That's all I'm saying. A, I have Courtney's Cardazzle palette. This is one of obviously the Kardashians palettes, which I don't really rate for day-to-day -day use. Like every day, you know, I prefer to use my NARS or whatever I have that I love. But they're actually brilliant little kits to to just kind of bring with you if maybe you're caught on a day where you need to just get out of the house and you might have some time to apply makeup later on um, you can see they're tiny like really small and they have a mirror and eight eyeshadows and they're, they're good colours and they're good pigmentation nice neutral colours and it also has um, what I would consider to be two blushes and a highlight because that colour there isn't really much of a contour, but you no, know, they're both pretty blushes. So yeah, I keep that with me just for emergency sake. Cica Plasma, which is the best hand cream in the world, which I bring with me everywhere. I have like three tubes of this, one on my bedside table, one downstairs on my desk, and one in my bag. Then also for hands, um, I have this antibacterial gel. I don't really use antibacterial gels all that much. Some people seem to be obsessed by them, but um 
To be honest, if you wash your hands well, you shouldn't really need them. But in situations where I can't wash my hands and maybe um, I'm going to be eating, I will use it. And then afterwards, I'll use my Zika Plast because obviously alcohol gel is already drying. Um, I have mints with me. Well, um, because I have IBS, I can't chew chewing gum because chewing gum introduces air into the stomach which makes you bloated and it also causes you to produce more stomach acid which exacerbates stuff like IBS and gastrointestinal conditions so I don't chew chewing gum, I have mints instead which are very important after coffee obviously also for hands I have Avoplex cuticles to go this was ridiculously expensive in boots it's like 14 euro which is crazy because it's like 7.5 milliliters 7.5 mil seriously it's nearly 2 euro per mil it's crazy well it's just crazy however um it was on three for two and i was buying real techniques brushes that were like 20-ish euro and so i wanted to pick something up that was kind of a similar value to those that i would get for free and there wasn't really anything else that took my fancy so i got that free and it's a decent cuticle thing um what i really like about it is that it has this little brush attachment thingy on the top um, and it's a tube so you're not messing around with like the solar oil bottle and brush and painting it on you can actually properly use this on the go without making a mess which is good but i probably won't repurchase it unless i get it at a big discount or free um similarly actually is this rimmel match perfection concealer which i take with me just in case um if i get any like mascara stuff under my eyes I can sort of give them a tidy up or if any of my makeup starts to break down I could just give it a little bit of a touch up and this is quite similar to the OPI Avoplex in that it's a brush and squeezy tube which is apparently what I seem to prefer for carrying around with me well it is convenient you can't deny of great importance is Cicoplast lips take note lip product number one and um, best lip balm I've used in a long time I think this is like my default lipstick and um, this is an essence lasting something or other essence what does it say it does say it's one of those essence lasting lip color thingies in natural beauty which is just a nice sort of a my lips but better shade um handy again you know if you have to do your makeup on the go it's fine it's cheap for my hair i have a little travel sized um, hairspray and um, this is Charles Worthington takeaways one just handy to have if you have any crazy flyaways or anything just to tame them a couple of little small makeup brushes for to apply that makeup with so I have this is a Too Faced mini kabuki brush and I use this for touching up with powder and powder it has gone elsewhere where are you powder oh yeah the powder that I carry with me is, currently is the Clarence Opal Essence palette um, and as you can see it has a decent sized mirror and it's just a lovely lovely powder so I use that for touch ups with this Too Faced mini kabuki brush then for if I'm going to uh, retouch blush or highlight I have this mini eco tools blush brush and if I'm going to be applying eyeshadow I have this mini eco tools eyeshadow brush so these guys are teeny tiny um, and just so that the bristles don't get destroyed from rubbing up against other stuff I keep them in this little pouch bag so they just go in there look oh, perfect and last but not least in my little makeup pouch I carry this weird looking thing this is a clothes brush thingy my bob you rub it against your clothes like this and what it does is it catches any hairs pet owners you'll know why i have this i have a white rabbit and he sheds everywhere and i'm always covered in his hair i never wear black i can't wear black anymore for that reason so this little travel brush thingy comes in really handy if i haven't spotted that um he's shed somewhere and it's stuck to me <laughs> yeah so that's what's in my 
carry around travel makeup bag thingy that seems to cater for most of my emergencies. Um, what else? Headphones, of course, because you know I don't like to socialise with people, I like to block out the world and um, be really ignorant. I also tend to carry my sexy mother pucker gloss stick with me and my Revlon lip busher in berry smoothie. How many lip products are we on now? Um, is that four? I think it's four. Also, I have recently been using this is a MAC Huggable Lip Colour in Love Beam, which is a gorgeous coral. I'm all about the corals at the moment because, you know, spring has sprung. We need brightness. Other lip products that I've been toting around because I've been wearing them are my favourite red, Urban Decay F Balm. And the new L'Oreal L'Extraordinaire lip colours. This is Ruby Opera and it's a gorgeous deep sort of vampy red. Quite nice. I think that's all the lip products that I have. Um, so how many do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven lip products in my bag. I have had more. I actually cleared out that bag recently. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. Then other than that, I would just have my keys, which I don't actually have right now. Where are my keys? Uh-oh. I am. I'm sure they'll turn up. Other than that, I just carry with me my organizer, and this is one from Paper Chase. It is their compact organizer, but as you can see, I've managed to stuff it full of stuff, so it ain't so compact anymore. Um, I suppose I'll show you the organizer. I am a bit of a OCD organizing sort of freak, and I have various color codes here this is my color code key for putting stuff in my diary depending on what they are i have blog university appointments to do errand birthday or important date social fitness and personal development and they are purple red green orange and pink respectively and so then i have the in the back the coordinating pens because you know it would be an absolute travesty if i had to write everything just in blue ballpoint can't have that and I have in the front of the diary section so um, I got these printable um, diary bits from a seller on, on Etsy called DIY fish and um, very good for organizing I'll show you the layout and I just have one two three four months in there at the moment so I have March April May and June and when you open them up you get a monthly chart so you can chart things if you're tracking stuff like weight or um, I don't know stuff tracking stuff um, and then that page opens out like this how cool is that so on this side you get your monthly calendar then you have um, your weekly calendar which is on separate flip pages and then you have your to-do list and then I also put in individual day planner pages so that I can plan my day if I have a lot of stuff going on and then in the back stuff that will probably interest you the most I have a blog section I have a post planner where I write down various names of posts and I stick them down and I plan them for the week um, that plan doesn't always work <laughs> depending on what I need to do but anyway um, then I have my on my radar section so these are all products that um, say I've been watching a YouTube video or I've been at an event or something or I've been talking to someone um, or I've been browsing around in booths um, stuff that I think that I might like to pick up or stuff that is on my radar otherwise that I don't want to forget about so I note them all here you can see there's a lot <laughs> um, then I have post ideas, so I'll jot in little ideas for posts as I get them, as they come to me. Um, video ideas here, uh, products to review, so products that I have are stuff that I've received that I want to keep track of and tick them off as I review them. So nice blog organising section there. 
Then I have a similar section for my university and a section for various goals as well. So yeah, um, uh, and a little bit OCD, yeah. Oh, and of course I have my phone, which is a bunny case, look bunnies. I'm surprised this is the first bunny thing that is in my bag because as you all know, I'm obsessed. I am the crazy bunny lady. But look, it's the bunny face and he's looking over the top of the phone and at the back, look, and his tail and his feet and his bow. Cutest thing ever. So that's it for what's in my bag. Um, nothing too crazy or embarrassing or interesting. <laughs> yeah, so I hope you weren't too bored. And if you've done a what's in my bag, leave me your link below or if you haven't let me know what's in your bag if I'm missing something that is absolutely vital and I need to carry with me at all times let me know and if you like the video give me a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you next time thanks guys bye I have quite a few bits and pieces to go through that I've been loving for the past month